Seems quiet enough. Too quiet. Hello, welcome back guys. Um, if you have come to look at this video then it's because it's Ghost Recon and that makes me happy because I think Ghost Recon Original was one of the best um, FPS games ever made. Uh, it was strategic, it felt realistic, there was a lot of atmosphere in the game um, and it was fantastic. Now the screen you're looking at here is uh, Ghost Recon Island Thunder, however that's only because I've got all the mods, uh, mods, all the um, uh, add-ons installed, uh, so Island Thunder and um, Desert Siege. Uh, we are going to be playing the campaign for the first mission, so what we're going to do, a uh, first mission for the original, so we're going to go to campaign. Um, let's delete that. Yep. Let's delete that. Yep. Let's delete that. Yep, that's my recruit one. Okay, so we're going to set up a new campaign. We are going to go uh, Ghost Recon Original. I'm going to leave it on Veteran because if I try on Elite, I think I'm probably going to um, spend forever on it. Uh, I'm going to go... Uh, da -da -da, what should we call it? YTBE YouTube. And we're going to hit Start. Welcome to Tbilisi, gentlemen. Hope you got some shut-eye on the flight from Bragg because now that we're here, we got a lot of work to do. Here's the situation. We've been deployed at the request of the Georgian government to help them deal with rebels on their Russian border. Sneaky Russians. Our area of operations will be the South Ossetian Autonomous Region. 1,500 square miles of small villages and rugged backcountry. Okay. The Ossetians have been skirmishing with the Georgian army for years, but lately, the attacks have escalated to the verge of all-out war. Why can't everyone be friends? Washington thinks that the Russians have engineered the current flare-up as an excuse to step in and annex the whole region. Our job to cut the legs out from under the revolution before that can happen. Our first mission is a raid on a rebel base in the Caucasus Mountains. A rebel leader named Bekor Papashvili has been attacking army convoys across the Tarek River. You'll need to take out his guard post first, then hit his main camp. You'll find Papashvili in the caves at the top of the hill where he set up a command center. Take him alive if you can, but remember that he won't surrender unless all his guards are eliminated. Okay, so basically what we've got to do is capture Papashvili, um, which means we've got to kill everybody except Papashvili in the map. Right, so this is our um, briefing area. Uh, if I click on command map, you can see the command map. So click on the neutralize um, tank camp troops and that shows you an aerial photograph um, of the area that we're going into. Uh, secure the caves, that shows you where the caves are. Um, return to insertion zone, so that's our insertion and um, extraction point. And then capture Papashvili, he's up there in the caves with his moustache looking like a bad guy. Um, onward and upward. Team selection, you can have up to six operatives split between up to three teams. Uh, we are going to take three teams on this mission. We're going to take three teams of two. So we're going to take a rifleman team, a support team and a snipe team. Um, so looking through our uh, guys, if you if you look at the stats here, so you select a soldier um, and then you look at the stats over here. For the individuals now if you don't like those stats you can restart the game and you can keep restarting because there are many more operatives than just these guys and if you restart it you might end up with people with better stats honestly i'm not going to bother with it they um these guys are looking good to me they are starting stats uh each time an operative completes a mission he will get one extra point which you can add on um to an area of your choosing. Specialists, uh, as you complete missions, if you do a perfect mission um, with all objectives, you will get specialists. Um, I'm going to try, well, I'm going to take the guys with the best stats at the moment because I'm going to try and do my whole series only using specialists for, for missions where I really have no choice. Um, so I'm going to try and build these guys up and get them as good as I can going through the whole series. So he's looking like our best rifleman, so I'm going to take him as leader on um, Alpha. Then uh, support team, Bishop is pretty good there, so he's going to go as leader on Bravo. And then uh, snipe team, okay, we're going to take uh, Drust. He is going to go as our leader on Charlie. Now also because I'm going to try and build up stats for uh, my teams 
without using specialists. So I want to take a demo guy on this because I obviously want to build up my demo guy's points. So he is going to go as the um, support there for my uh, team alpha, I think. Then Bravo are going to want a rifleman. He's looking pretty good. So we can send a rifleman with Bravo and we want another rifleman to go with our sniper. Do I want stealth and endurance or do I want weapon and stealth? I'm going to take weapon and stealth for this. Okay, so there we go. Those are our teams. Now, uh, kit selection, it's fairly limited. In fact, it's very limited. You have an M16. A rifle, rifleman team has an M16. Um, you can either have it with a uh, grenade launcher or heartbeat sensor or silence pistol or extra ammo. We're going to take uh, rocket launchers with or grenade launchers rather with all of our teams. Um, Demolitions has an M4 with a uh, demo charge or anti-tank or grenades or silenced pistol. We're going to take grenades and our support has um, LMG with ammo, grenades, claymore or um, or a pistol and you know what I'm gonna take a I think I'm gonna take yeah, I'm just gonna give him some extra ammo and then our sniper has a pistol or a silence pistol or ammo grenades so he's gonna take silence pistol Yeah, so that's our team selection and we are now going to head into the mission. I think what we're going to do is play up to where we capture the tent camp and that will be part one and then we'll go, uh, that will be the end of the first video just purely because otherwise it's going to go on and I feel people may get bored with a long video. Um, so we'll do it in snippets, we'll take the camp and then we'll save the game and that will be the end of that video and we will then um, have a second video which will come out this week as well um, maybe tomorrow for part two of this mission and that will uh, be where we head up and capture the caves and then get to extraction okay so here we go seems quiet enough too quiet too quiet okay so um, first things first you've got three teams with Alpha Bravo and Charlie you can play as any of these teams you can also flick through and play as any operative within any of those teams um, I'm gonna start off uh, with Charlie snipe team I'm gonna bring up my soldier stats which you can again select any um, soldier or team by clicking on the uh, relevant one uh, command map I want alpha so okay on here you can tell people to move uh, or advance at all costs cost. okay they'll stop we're holding or you can tell them just to advance I hear you um, then you've got weapons free which is suppressed. you can fire at will you've got uh, recon taking a look around and you've got assault which is where orders received yeah, if they happen to see somebody or if they get attacked then they will fight it out so what we're going to do is put everyone on weapons free uh, you can fire at will. You can fire at will. I want Alpha to head up to here. We're rolling. I want Bravo to head to here. Moving out. And I want Charlie to do to head wherever I'm going. Obviously, looking at the game, it's a, it's a pretty dated game. The trees, the bushes, are all pixelated. You got no kind of you know you've got no weapon in front of you. Um, all you can see is your crosshair on the screen. Those are the downsides. Pretty much the only downsides. The AI is a bit stupid on occasions, but I mean look at it. It's the colours, the the grass, the textures. It's awesome. This game is beautiful. It really is. Okay, he's dead. Um, and the haze in the distance, look at that. You can barely see. You really have to like look to be able to see anybody. Um, if I take a look at this guy, you know, his camo is all, you know, it's good, he's looking good. But to actually see anybody off in the distance, 
is a very difficult thing to do. Kill confirmed. And unless you're looking at them when they move, you're not going to see them. There's somebody there. He just moved across there. There he is. So we're going to get him on his way down the hill. Another kill. Anyone else? Da -da -da. I think, generally as a rule, on their veteran, they tend to hang around in groups two. So, there may well still be somebody up there. However, I can't see them moving, so we're going to move up. might be there, they might not. I'm going to move up into that nest, keeping an eye out over in this direction, because up there, there is... Da -da -da. Okay, there you go, there's a baddie right there. He's a sniper, and if you walk out in front of him, he'll get you. Okay. Enemy down. down. So I don't need to go up into that nest now. What I'm going to do is bring up my command map again, and tell those guys to move. Right, I want uh, Alpha. They're going to head to here. Bravo. They're going to head to here. We're here. Charlie. They're going to head to here, and we're going to go as Alpha. Uh, just we're ahead. done. If you look down in the bottom centre of the screen there, you can see a dial and the arrow on the outside of that dial, look at that, that's beautiful. The arrow on the outside of that dial is uh, you, where your next waypoint is. So you're basically following your arrows as you would in any sort of game like this. So we're heading up to the tank camp. position here now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, crouch down, I'm going to switch to my grenade launcher, I'm going to get up behind this right rock behind where they can't see me, mate is right behind me. We're here! Okay, rather a destination. Single shot here. You got Lean and Peak still there. Right? history. Taking cover. cover. Okay, that's it. So we have taken the um, tent camp and that's going to be it for our first video. Uh, come back probably tomorrow for the next video where we will head up into the mountains and take the caves, capture Papashvili and head to extraction. Thanks for watching guys. Thank you for your support. I really do appreciate it. Cheers. Bye bye. Who's that? There's some um, gunfire going on there, so I'm actually going to deviate and head over here onto the ridge. Taking cover. Where are they? Okay, so they're taking cover. We're going to have to see if we can. Enemy down. I can't see. I can't see. Taking some lead here. I can't see where all this is going on. 
So we're going to follow the ridge round until we can uh, see something. <laughs> 